This is the new series of collectible LEGO Marvel minifigures, which includes heroes from a bunch of different Marvel Disney Plus shows. And today I'm going to be building a giant house for them all to live in, with unique areas for each character. So to get started, we need to find all the figures, which is going to be really hard since this minifigure series is in boxes, which means I'll have to look like a crazy person and weigh all the individual boxes to see if they match the weights from this chart. And after a long time, I had crossed off most of the figures on my list and went home to open them. Well, the scale ended up being useless since I was still missing five of the most popular characters in the series, so I had to order them on Bricklink. Now that I had all the figures, I could finally start building a giant house for all of them to live in. We're going to start by taking this base I pre-built and add on a huge window. Then I can add a clothes rack and a couch for the first figure, which is Storm from the X-Men. Next, on the other side of the house, I'm going to start building a science lab for Beast and a training area with a punching bag for Wolverine. Also, since we now have all the X-Men in the house, I'm going to add their logo to the front for now. Moving on, we have Echo from the Hawkeye series, who likes to listen to loud music, so I'm going to give her two giant speakers so she can blast her music. Next is this brand new character from the upcoming Season 2 of What If, named Goliath. So we're going to add him to the science lab and give him a wall for all of his Ant-Man helmets to go on. Now the next character is She-Hulk, who is going to take over the other side of Storms' couch with a desk for her lawyer work and a shelf above with more references to her show. Next I'm going to start building a small archery room for Kate Bishop with a doghouse for her dog Lucky. Then I can add Hawkeye and a Christmas tree for the baby owl that he comes with. Now we can finally start working on the second floor areas, like this dark chamber for Agatha Harkness. I'll start by giving her a dark wall with overgrown leaves in the back. Then I can place a lectern that has the dark hold on it. Now we are also going to fit Werewolf by Night in here by having the bloodstone on a table and putting him in a cage. Now we can start the final room with Mr. Knight by adding a wall, table for his fish tank, and a white bed. Then we can add the best and final figure in the series, Moon Knight, to the room and give him a second bunk on the bed. I also decided to change the X-Men logo at the front to the Disney Plus logo since all these shows are on it. Now all that is left to do is add a roof and we can start the final tour. I hope you all have enjoyed the video, comment what LEGO videos you want to see in the future, and subscribe for more amazing videos.